We are trying to give people that happiness which will never get exhausted. That is our objective of happiness. The most powerful and divine motto by Shri 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 Srila Prabhupada. Welcome to the Spiritual Saga, a platform to know inspiring stories about the ancient culture of India, the prominence of spirituality and its leaders, and many other hidden treasures of life. This video is the third part of the Prabhupada sequel. To understand this content better, please do watch the previous videos of Prabhupada on our channel in which we have shared the journey of Abhya Charanaravinda Bhakti Vedanta Prabhupada Swami in detail. In this video, we will take you through his journey to America in order to spread the divine message of Krishna consciousness to the Western community. Before proceeding to the video, if you are watching our videos for the first time and not yet subscribed to it, please subscribe and click the bell icon for more such informative videos and regular updates. Sri Abhya Charanaravinda Bhakti Vedanta Prabhupada Swami started his journey to America in late 1960s with a mission to spread the divine message of Krishna consciousness to the world. He travelled through a ship named Jaladuta arranged by Srimati Sumati Murarji, the chairperson of Sindhya steamship. Sumati Murarji says he was the person of words and morale. Prabhupada would go beyond his boundaries to achieve his goals. The evident example of this is his journey to America at the age of 70. It was an arduous journey for him as he endures seasickness and suffers from two heart attacks. He was going through a critical phase but never let himself lose the willpower and faith in Lord Krishna. As days passed, he gradually recovered. Prabhupada was a pious man who dedicated his life to spread the harmony in the world through the powerful messages of Lord Krishna. Every person who met him will praise his dedication and love towards his duties and the Lord. Even while traveling to America with his physical illness, he did not forget to celebrate Lord Krishna's birthday and spread his magic to the crew members and other persons in the ship. He turned it into a holy place by chanting slogas and songs. After a long journey, the Jalduta arrives at Boston Harbor on 17th September 1965. Few of his words will always make us rethink what exactly we are up to. Why are we losing ourselves for something that's not constant in our lives? His simplicity and devotion not only reflects in his daily life but also reflects in his writings too. He says, Lord Krishna, I have no knowledge, I have no devotion, but I have strong faith in the name Krishna. So I will repeat your words with full faith and if you like it, you can make me power of speaking suitable for understanding. I have designated as Bhakti Vedanta, the devotion of knowledge. If you like it, you can fulfill the real purport of Bhakti Vedanta. Prabhupada first stays in Butler, Pennsylvania, in the home of a friend's son, Gopal Agarwal, and his wife Sally. After staying there for one month, he moves to New York as a next step towards his mission. There he confronts many challenges as he arrived during the decade of discontent and there was a widespread of dissatisfaction with American war in Vietnam. Because of these establishments, the youth of the country created a counterculture of their own. 
That was the time when Bhakti Vedanta Swami landed in the city of New York, where people needed a change from the status quo and were in search of an alternative. After all the hardships, he started taking spiritual classes for few of the Western brothers. Then, with the help of few of his disciples, he started a store in the Second Avenue, New York, and continued to spread his message of Krishna consciousness. Gradually, the lane of hippies transformed into a beautiful Krishna temple. Prabhupada used to walk through lanes and streets and gathered young people as part of the Hare Krishna movement. This way, Abhya Charanaravinda Bhakti Vedanta Prabhupada Swami rooted the philosophy of Chaitanya and spread happiness and peace in people's life by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Prabhupada always said that he never felt he was alone in the hard times as he felt the presence of Lord and the spiritual master all around. If you always want to know the actual root of happiness, then don't forget to watch our next video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Also click the bell icon for regular updates.